<laughs> Hi everyone, I would like to demonstrate a couple of the techniques that I just talked about in the lecture that you just watched. Empty chair and then exaggeration and repetition. Put Lucy down. Empty chair is used when people have an interpersonal or an intrapersonal issue. So interpersonal is when you have an issue with another person. Intrapersonal refers to a conflict within yourself. So the empty chair is just like it sounds. We have the client sit across from an empty chair and we have them talk to the empty chair like there is someone in it. And in the most realistic way, we will have clients switch places. So we'll start with an interpersonal program. Uh, problem. Let's say I'm having a problem with my mother that I can't seem to work out. Maybe she's unavailable to have a conversation with. So the counselor would have me look at the chair and talk to the chair like my mother was sitting in it. Mom, I've always been frustrated by the way you've handled that situation and I've, I've always felt like I can just never talk to you. Then you have the client actually switch seats and assume the role of the person that they're speaking to. So I assume the role of the mother and say back to my client what I think the mother might say or what I wish she would say. You know, I'm sorry. I've just always done the best I can. I feel bad for all the things that I've done and the way I've treated you. I'm just really sorry. And then you have the client go back to the other chair and respond and so on. And that goes back and forth. And so it's healing because it allows clients to be aware. And remember Gestalt therapy is all about awareness. It makes them aware of what their feelings are and experiencing them in the moment. Now if it's intrapersonal uh, personal problem, you can have them talk to another part of themselves. So maybe there's a part of themselves that's struggling with a decision. So you can have them say, you know you shouldn't have done that. Why? Don't you feel guilty about treating your parents that way? Don't you feel terrible about that? And then have them assume that person's role. A little bit, but I was so hurt by what they did to me, I just, I couldn't help it. I just, and I feel bad about it, but what am I supposed to do now? And then you go back and assume this, and again, speak back. So that helps you become aware of different sides of yourself that might be conflicting. So that's empty chair. It's, it's an exercise that the clients think is a little weird at first, but for those clients who are open-minded enough to wanna to try it, it's really great at bringing them into awareness. Now the second one I wanna talk about is repetition, uh, the rep the kind of the repetition and enunciation. So this also helps clients to understand some of the things they do and bring them into awareness. What you're gonna see in the Gloria films is that Gloria tends to do this and Fritz Perls asks her to keep doing it and doing it. And the point is to help her understand what that means, what that's all about. So let me give you an example. Um, a, a counselor that I worked with years ago had a client who was very submissive and passive. So what she decided to do with the client was, I mean, pretend the counselor's there, to say to her, okay, I want you to stand up. Okay, stand up. No, I want you to sit down. Okay, sit down. Stand up. So this is the counselor asking the client to do this. Okay, sit back down. Stand back up. Sit back down. And then after doing that for quite a bit of time, the counselor said to the client, what's that all about? Why are you doing that? And that helped, really helped the client get in touch with why they're doing this, how they felt when they were being kind of passive and, and following an order that really doesn't make sense. So they're really good for awareness. So taken together, the exaggeration and repetition and the empty chair can be very powerful techniques to use in Gestalt therapy. 